Hi girls, it's Miss Ane, and I am here for your jazz and hip hop class this evening. So what I want to do today is focus a little bit more on our technique. So I'm not going to go over our recital routine today, um, but still make sure you do review it after this video, okay? So go ahead and watch this video and we're going to get our body warm and go over our technique, like our turns and our leaps and all that stuff. And then once you finish that on your own time, make sure you still go over your recital dance, okay? Remember, it's You Can't Stop Me by Andy Minio. Um, just go ahead and type that into YouTube and I'm using the lyric video. So use that and then, yeah, so make sure you still go over that, okay? So let's go ahead and stand and get our body nice and warm and ready to dance. So let's just stand and twist side to side warming up our back, nice and steady, we come up, hands to the side, we're going to reach to the side, warming up our rib cage, and we're going to reach over and stretch over to the side, make sure your back isn't turned in, you're facing up towards the ceiling, and we turn, go flat back like a tabletop, okay, so not too high, not too low, right in the middle. And we go down, nose to knee. Make sure your legs are nice and straight. You don't want to see any bent knees. Bend your back leg. And straighten it. And bend it. And come up. And let's do some more side to sides. And come up, remember, facing the ceiling. And we go flat back. down to the, to the knee, bend the back leg, and straight, and one more time, bend, and come up, bring your feet together, go down as far as you can, grab onto your ankles, and really pull yourself towards your legs. Nice. Okay, let's Roll our hands out, stretch out our wrists, do some circles back, and some circles forward, and grab your arm, stretch it out, grab onto the elbow, take it back, and other side, stretch the arm out, and grab the elbow, take it back. Nice. Okay, now let's do some releves. We come up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and roll your ankles out just like this. And go the other way and shake that out. Other side and roll it in. Good. Alrighty. Okay, so that was just a quick little stretch. Make sure you still go over all of our other stretches, okay? So, what I want to begin um, um, today with is doing our pirouette turns, okay? So, let's go ahead and get into our passe. And let's just review what our passe should look like, okay? So, remember, we lift up our right leg. Our toe is connected to our knee, okay? So, look at how my toe is connected to the knee. It's not out here. It's not like this. It's just my toe, okay? So face the side, and then lift up into your passe. Do you see how that's nice and flat? So I don't wanna have my passe too far back because then it's too low, okay? So we always wanna pretend like we have something. Let me just get, like look, like a TV remote, and I'm gonna put it right here. I should be able to hold it and balance. So if I go too low, the remote's gonna slide off, okay? So always keep that in mind. That's a good little exercise that you can do at home when maybe when you're bored, you're not doing anything, grab something and see how long you can hold it there, okay? That's always really fun and it will help you, okay? Something super easy, but it really does help you engage your core, engage your legs, and helping you find that center to be able to do a bunch of turns in the future, okay? So that's our passe. We start off by going out to the side. Our arms are in T. We go into a tendu to the side. We take that foot back. 
we bring that arm forward, okay? Make sure your uh, front foot is nice and turned out, okay? I know there are different ways to prep, but um, the way I like to do it is with my feet turned out in fourth position. And remember to distribute your weight evenly. You don't want to put all your weight on the front leg or all the weight on the back leg. You want to be standing nice and tall and then take a nice plie from there, okay? So we go out to the side, we take it back, and then from there, we lift up, nice and pretty, into our passe. We land, I usually like to land just feet open and arms in a low V, okay? So these are just a few reminders. You'll already know how to do the pirouette, but I'm just giving you a few reminders so you can um, remember and go over to refresh our memory. So let's go ahead and try our pirouettes, ready? And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Good, and then remember when we land, we don't move, okay? Let's try that one more time. If the single is too easy for you, go ahead and try a double turn, okay? And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Good, awesome. Okay, so those were our pirouette turns. Now let's go on and go over our stationary loops, okay? So remember, for our stationary loop, we stand, arms by our sides, we're facing the diagonal, okay? So from here, our hands go down into a low first, and we plie our legs, okay? So just a quick reminder, remember when I say plie, that just means a small bend, okay? So right now we're in a demi-plie, just nice and soft. Remember, our backs are still straight. We're not super forward. We're not leaning back. We're right at a nice diagonal, okay? So we come here. We get a nice prep. We prep. Our hands swing up to a high V. Yeah? So remember, we eagle out. So we're here. We touch our thighs. And then high V. And then we bring them down to catch ourselves, okay? So notice how in all those positions when we're doing our stationary leap, I don't bend my elbows, okay? So I always tell you all this. Um, so just pretend like you don't have elbows for a second in the leap, okay? So you have elbows here when you're prepping because your arms are nice and rounded. As soon as you prep, your elbows do not bend. They're non-existent throughout this time. And then when you catch yourself, they bend a little bit just to help um, support, you, support your landing, okay? So... That is what's going on with the upper body. Always make sure that you're looking up during your leap. You don't want to look down towards the floor because if you look towards the floor, your leap is going to be at a diagonal, okay? And we don't want that. So we always want to look up to help lead our upper body towards the sky and to help our leap look nice and straight, okay? So that's just a reminder for our upper body. Our lower body, remember, we prep. And as soon as our feet leave the ground, our toes are nice and pointed, okay? So we don't want to go up and do our leap with flex speed, okay, right? Because that's not that's not too, too pretty, okay? We like to do our leaps with nice and pointed toes, nice straight knees, our legs are super duper straight, and we're trying to create that line, okay? So we prep, nice and low, our knees are bent, and as soon as we leave the, the ground, our legs are nice and straight, okay? So remember, our front leg is up nice and high, our back leg is nice and up also, our toe is pointed from there when we land, Remember, we have to tuck the toe. We, we have to land with the point of toe. You can't really see. I'm trying to show you. So you're here, up, and then you land on the tips of your toes, and then catch yourself down, okay? So remember, not to catch yourself on here, on the ball of your foot, because your knee will go down into the ground, okay? And you'll get some bruises, and we don't like those, okay? So try to be safe when you're doing these stationary leaps, okay? So. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to count it off for y'all, but y'all should know what a stationary looks like by now. So I'm going to count it off for you and go ahead and try it. Ready? And you're standing to the side. Nice and straight. You're looking up. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. Land. Good job. Okay, go ahead and stand. Try one more time. And five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. Land. Awesome. Okay. One more, I promise I keep on saying one more time and I will keep on going, you already know. So let's do it one last time, but let's try to get even higher than we did just now. Okay, ready? And five, six, seven, eight, down and up, land. Good job, girls. Okay, so that is it for today's 
video, okay? Make sure you go over those skills even more after you finish watching this, okay? Go over your recital routine, your pirouettes, and your stationary leaps, okay? So I would recommend y'all to maybe ask your mom or your sister, whoever you have around you, um, and ask them to record you. See, um, go in slow-mo and look at your leap. See how high you're getting off the floor. See if your toes are actually pointed. Maybe um, you think you're doing it and then you watch it back and you're like, oh no, my toes aren't pointed. It happens. Sometimes we think we're doing things and then we watch it back and we're like, oh, that's not what I thought I was doing. Okay, so it's always good to take a step back and really see and help critique yourself, okay? So, um, yeah, so go ahead and do that. I would love to see some videos of y'all trying your tricks and stuff at home. So you can send them to Miss April and she will send them to me um, and I can watch them. So yeah, that is it for today, okay? Um, I hope to see y'all again, hopefully really, really soon. We should be able to go back to the studio um, in these coming weeks. So hopefully that does happen and yeah so let's go ahead and end class with our prayer today and then i will let y'all go and y'all are um ready to go on and review your other dances and stuff okay so let's go ahead and bow our heads dear heavenly father we thank you again for bringing us together through youtube to our dance class we thank you for everything that you've done to it done for us and continue to do for not only us but everybody else in the world Thank you for keeping us blessed, for keeping us protective, um, and we love you very much, and we pray that we are back together again very, very soon. In Jesus' name we say, amen. All right, girlies, so that is it for today. I enjoyed our class, so um, yeah, that is it. I will see y'all very, very soon, okay? Bye.